braids, 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 braids. Um, I love braids because they're so easy to do. And yeah, so this is a simple braid. And I'm just going to teach you how to do all different kinds of braids. And um, yeah, hairstyles with braids, everything. So let's get started with a normal braid. Okay, so the first hairstyle is pigtail braid. And what you want to do is you want to get your section of hair, rush it out. Um, oh, first you want to split your hair down. Wait, where is my part? Right there. Down your part, and I've done that already. As you see, I have this braid. So let's just push that to the side. So you're going to comb out your braid, and you're going to get either your hair elastic, which I like because you can't really see them, so it looks like your braid's just pinched at the bottom, or your um, ponytail clip, however you, like these, but colorful, like those, however you want to pronounce it, and you're going to split your hair into three parts like this and you're gonna cross one over into the center and grab it then you're gonna cross the one from the other side over into the center and grab it and you're gonna pull it and you want to keep this going by just grabbing and putting it into the center and you're gonna keep that going till you get to the end and once you do this a lot you'll start to pick up that you could do it fast you could do it without looking like right now I'm not looking at my brain and once you get to the bottom if it starts to do this where oh it's actually not doing it but where one section starts to get shorter than the other that is okay that happens to everybody um, if your hair is layered or if you're just doing a side braid or something that happens and you're just gonna twist it and this is gonna be a long video forgot to say that but yeah and you're gonna do that to both sides um I didn't go all the way with this one all the way down but I let sometimes I like to go so there's that much left and yeah all right so the next braid is the to the side braid so what you're going to do is you're going to get your hair. I like to do braids behind my ears. Some people like to just braid it like this, but I like to pull my hair behind my ears. And then you're going to want to transfer all your hair to the side you want the braid on. And um, I'm going to be saying a lot of opinions during this video. My opinion of a good braid, like a side braid, is to put it on the side where your part's like, you see how my part's right? here wait right there I like to do it to the side where there's where there's more hair so you're just gonna pull it to the side and you're gonna brush it out and you're gonna brush all your hair towards the front of you and then if you get that little bump just brush it out all right so now I'm going to just start braiding So you're just, again, putting left in the middle, and then right in the middle, and then left in the middle, and then right in the middle. And see how this is starting to get shorter at this part? That will happen, so once you're pretty much out of that piece of hair, like this right here, when it gets like that, that would be a good time to stop. And where is my clip? Here it is. You're just going to clip it. like that. So there is your side braid. You could tuck it behind your ear or you could just leave it loose like that. And yeah. Alright, so next is the French braid. And I like to take the side that has less the hair. So again, you're going to split your braid down the center. And you may be like, oh, that side has less hair. This side has less hair. 
cuts of my part. If you have a braid in the middle, um, good for you. You have a braid in the middle. So you're just gonna put this hair, uh, this hair, and you're gonna put it back. So now let me just grab the inside me so this is easier. So you're gonna section the top of your hair, just grab a little section like this. And you're going to start by braiding that. So you're going to cut it into three sections. And you're going to braid it with putting the the one these pieces in the middle twice. And you're going to make sure that that's tight. Next, you want to grab a piece of hair and put it in the middle with one of your pieces of hair. So again, you're going to grab a piece of hair and you're just going to throw it in the middle. If you're in a rush, you could take bigger pieces of hair, like bigger clumps of hair, and you can do that. And then you should be done after four or five times. And then once you get to the bottom of your hair, like this, you're just going to naturally braid it. And this braid takes a lot of practice because it's a hard braid to accomplish. Um, I find it easier on different people, like to be doing it on a friend or your mom, somebody, and you're just going to braid that to the end. And you're going to take your hair elastic, and since I didn't do this in the mirror, it's not the best, because, yeah, but that's it and I don't know if you can see can you see you can't there that's it and yeah so you could do just one side leave the other side like this or you could do both sides if you want so yeah okay the next braid is one of the hardest to get like down so, um, I'm going to show you how to do it once or twice, and then I'm going to take a different video with me just doing it, like, sped up, because it'll take, this is the braid that'll take you about five minutes. So, again, go to the side of me, and you're, this, uh, let's turn, something like this. Okay, there we go. You can see now. Okay. So you, again, like every other braid, you're going to brush out your hair, and then you're going to split it in half. Now, I know, you're like, uh, this isn't a braid. You're splitting it in half. But this is a braid, and you want to get as precise with the split in half line as possible. I like to do it on one side, on the middle of my ear, like this. So now you have two sections, and what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, well, you're going to brush out your sections because a lot of times you want um, your your braid to be like, you know, to, how do I say it? You want your braid to be neat, as neat as possible. So you're going to leave one section down, and then you're going to take the section, you're going to pull a hair from underneath, and you're going to put it over to the other section. So, and you want to take small pieces of hair, the neater, the smaller the pieces, the neater it gets. So now you have this one crossed looking thing, and you're going to put your other piece of hair down, and then you're going to take one from here, and put it in that and now since you have two going on there can you see you can yeah since you have two going on there you can't let your hair go anymore and you're just gonna keep doing that so I'm gonna show you one more time just gonna pull it over then from the other side you're gonna pull one over all right and once you get the hang of this it becomes easy
Okay, since I was showing you, this is gonna look a little weird. Try not to do like to the side. Try to do it going towards you. That's why I have this little hang thing there. But yeah, and also what you could do with a fishtail is you could bring it here and add all your hair in, which a lot of people tend to do, and just like do your fishtail like this and start. But I don't like doing that because I don't like my ear. So, yeah. Okay, so the last and final braid that I'm going to show you is a braid where you take the side bangs, if you have side bangs of your hair, and you will loosely braid these on top, and then you could get um, better at the bottom. So, again, you're going to split it into three sections and be very loose at the top. Just, like, start going with it. And then you might want to start getting tighter once you get to the bottom. And I took too big of a clump of hair. You want to take about half of what I took. And you're just going to braid it to the bottom. Like that. And then you're going to clip it. And then, because we did it loosely on top, because you're going to pin it back here. And I know I have a big bubble, but that's because I was doing it in front. You're really supposed to do it going this way a little. So it stays like that, and you just hang it down. And you want to make the braids on both sides of your hair. So I'm going to start doing it towards the back. Oh, you can see my mirror in the background. I didn't realize. You're going to want to start pulling it back. And you are going to want to do this in a mirror. Um, because, yeah. braids I love them because they're they only take like two three minutes and you could wear them every day to school and you could have a different hairstyle every single day of school or work or whatever so here's how it's actually supposed to look and you're just going to take your two ends in the back and I need a I call it a clip, but some people call it hair bands, hair elastics, stuff. And I have a lot of misbehaving hair. Not supposed to be in there. And I hope you can see. You're going to take your two uh, braids and you're going to just hair top. You're going to tie it with your hair band. That's a plane. So then it looks like this when you're done, and you could just like straighten down here. And I know that's a bubble. It's a bubble. And really supposed to look like how this looks. Can you see? This look like how this looks. Nice and pinned back. And then if you may want to put some hair in the back so your little pony type thing doesn't look as weird. Like, hey, I'm a little pony, but yeah. If you want, you can just clip it like this in the back. So yeah um have fun create a video response comment subscribe like this video like it right down there because you know that you like braids you know it girl <laughs> yeah so just like this video
and yeah i know it's a long video like why i want it in why but these are just some tips about braids that i forgot to add in in the beginning you want your hair to be what is that oh that's from the last braid i took out you want your hair to be um to be damp like i like to do braids after i get out of the shower or i just take a spray bottle take a section and just spray it and then I do my braid, and yeah. So, um, also, hair elastics. Don't do it like, like, let's say you have this, right? You only want to make it, like, go around it three times, even if it's loose. With a braid, it won't come out. Like, unless you go, like, yank, and you pull it out. Because you don't want to lose hair or anything so just like yeah with um the rub the, the cloth ones the cloth clips uh the cloth ponytails the cloth you know what i'm talking about circles better like this yeah they um are better for braids the ones that you can't really see. Um, like, I personally like these for braids, but with getting braids out, like, you could just pull it, and, yeah. So, comment, rate, subscribe, like, press the little like button right down there, because you know you want to.